What do you like most about working in STEM? Coming up with a way to solve a problem and then coming up with a design to fix that. Designing it on the computer and then getting to make it happen in real life. Um, that's my absolute favorite thing about engineering. Yeah, mine too. I love seeing a product come to life from an idea to actual putting it on the shelf. Um, I don't know, I just enjoy the whole process behind that, not even just the mechanical side. I like the challenge of it too, like you're handed something and you're like, yeah, this is impossible. All right, I gotta make it possible. You, ne you never know what you don't know until the problem comes up and then you have to solve the problem and learn and figure out what you can do with that to like communicate that with students as well. Yeah. I'd say those are probably my favorite too, as well as <laughs> <laughs> number one, the uh, the gratification you get from solving a problem is just amazing. And the second is being able to take that experience and like you said, convey it to students so then they can also solve those problems and the excitement and gratification and confidence boost that they get from doing that is just incredible. Talking about um, specifically seeing someone that you identify with do something that you didn't necessarily think was an option previously and then seeing it then as an option. Do you think on the other side of things, representation can be important to see that someone who doesn't look like you can do something? For example, does seeing women represented in science, is that also important for young boys to see? I think that definitely is very important. Just because if they're more used to seeing more women in the field, then they won't see it as weird. Sometimes you run into the situation where someone asks, oh, what do you do for work? And then you say, mechanical engineering. And they go, oh, really? Wow. wow. You're so smart. <laughs> yeah, where oh they God. seem very surprised that this has happened. But the more young boys will see this kind of thing, I think the more accepted it'll become and then the more normal it'll be mm -hmm. and it won't be such a strange situation. Yeah, I get that all the time. <laughs> but I think it's awesome like for young kids to see like women, like most women are teachers, you know, like you don't see a guy teacher that often, but whenever a kid does see a guy teacher, I don't know, it's a little different, but same thing, reverse, like in college, you don't see as many like women teachers. And uh, I've seen it when Lauren and I go to do trainings on very advanced collegiate level information and technology that we're using. And when we show up to teach these things, there is a general level of like, oh, these are two women going to teach us. Yeah. I remember even in my college classes, there was a lab where I was literally the only girl in there. And like most of the guys are nice, but you do feel a little out of place sometimes. And then it would make me like question like, should I be here? It looks like it's just a bunch of guys. Like if you find it interesting, you may not be the best at it, but if you yourself, if you think, oh, this is really interesting, I wanna try and figure this out, just keep pushing through it. It doesn't matter what other people think about what you're doing. If you enjoy doing it, then do it. You know, um, you're gonna have people saying you can't do it or you shouldn't be doing this. But if science or math or whatever brings you joy and you're good at it, or maybe you're not good at it, but you really enjoy it, we can bridge that gap. So let's work together on this and let's figure out what we can do to make you feel better about it. But don't just give up. You know, a lot of times girls are discouraged from pursuing a uh, field like math or science or anything in STEM um, and get at least get less support and encouragement oftentimes from society and teachers and parents. Um, so I think helping teachers know how to give that support, um, especially, you know, to male students and female students and all of their students uh, is important. Absolutely. I think that's a, a really good way to put that is that if we can impact all students when they're eight, nine, even as Lauren was saying with like pre-K, then we will see that growth of women, that equalization of, of the, the 
gender balance in STEM fields as well, because we're looking at helping all students as early as we can.